Hi Chasers, hi YouTube, hope your day is going well. Now, if you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you're following me in my newsletter, you know that one of the intentions I set for this year was to make this year your most stylish year yet. Hence this video. <laughs> So in this video, I'm going to be sharing the one stylist secret every woman should know. I'm not right. In this video, I really want to communicate with you the one thing you can start doing now, today, to make this year your most stylish year yet. So what is that? It is to set the intention to invest time into your wardrobe. Now, what does that look like right now? Practical steps, right? Right now, that looks like taking the time to do a wardrobe audit. I have been making fashion and style content for about a decade, give, not quite a decade, but close to it. And every year or almost every year, I always say this, right? And honestly, this should not just be done at the beginning of the year. I would say this should be done at twice a year. And if you're really, <laughs> if you're like me and have a higher impact, inventory, maybe quarterly, but it is to take the time to audit your wardrobe. Pull out those pieces that no longer fit. Pull out those pieces that you haven't worn in months or even years. Personal style changes gradually, right? Pull out those pieces that just don't spark joy. And especially for the curvy community, pull out those pieces that you bought five years ago that you plan to wear when you lost 15, 20, 25 pounds and you still haven't lost this. Okay, pull out those pieces right either you know trash them donate them or sell them but remove those pieces I promise you after you do that you will feel so much less overwhelmed when it comes to getting dressed and it'll also give you a real inventory of what you have and what you need now if you're signed up to, for my newsletter you have probably received our winter closet checklist however if you're not all you have to do is sign up for it it's completely free and it comes directly to your inbox. So you can use that checklist to cross check after you've made this audit to see what holes, what gaps are in your wardrobes and how you can fill that out. Now on a month to basis, or I would say week to week basis, setting the intention to block out some time to outfit plan. That could be weekly or bi-weekly. I know we are all busy sis. You know, some of us have partners, husbands, we have full-time jobs, kids, okay, side hustles. I get it, I do. But taking that time, okay, to invest in putting together those outfits, to look at your calendar, to see what's coming up, date night, girls night out, a concert, you know, school play, et cetera, et cetera, will really help you feel less overwhelmed when it comes to putting together looks. And most importantly, showing up in spaces feeling confident. For me, I know that even though I've been doing this for like I said, give or take a decade, when I have to put an outfit together in a hurry, it's typically not my best outfit. And I typically feel the most self-conscious because you know, I didn't choose the right color shoe or I should have worn a heel or worn a flat or blah, 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 on all the millions of things. And it actually shows in how you interact with people. So making that time for yourself, honey, is not selfish, it's self-care. Okay, now if making that time investment is just not feasible for you yet in your schedule, here's another actionable step. You can start to curate or create a catalog of outfits that you love. So taking an extra minute or two after you put together an outfit that you love, an outfit that you had time to put together, an outfit that brought the heat, okay, or will bring the heat. Um, taking that time to snap a picture, it doesn't have to go on Instagram. Literally to snap a picture, create a folder on your iPhone or whatever phone you have, label it outfits, right? Taking that extra time to create that catalog will mean that in moments when you're in a hurry, you have something to refer back to. Also, it'll give you a chance to invest some time in, you know, reflecting over those outfits, you know, thinking about what you love about those outfits. This is one of the easiest way to start, you know, figuring out what your personal style is, right? Looking over them, seeing what you love about those outfits. The catalog may even inspire you to create, you know, additional combinations of similar pieces. It may also help you 
you with figuring out what to shop for instead of just mindlessly shopping for the newest latest sequin bodycon puff sleeve unicorn rainbow piece you know it may actually lead you to figuring out okay these are the things I wear the most and these are the things that I need more of in my wardrobe I know personally having that catalog going back to the catalog of looks has helped me you know because when I don't know what to wear I'll look at my Instagram when I have a shoot coming up and I need to shoot some looks I'll look at my YouTube and I'll look at the outfits that I've created and nine times out of ten it sparks some creativity in me and worst case scenario I'm like okay I love that outfit I look good in it guess what I'm about to repeat it I know a friend of mine was having a baby shower and I didn't know what to wear for a baby shower I went on my Instagram and I saw an outfit I was like yep that would work for a baby shower and then when I showed up to her baby shower she was like girl then this outfit didn't you wear this outfit on Instagram I was like I sure did I repeat my outfits I'm not that girl <laughs> who only wears her outfits once okay I buy something because I love it and I want to wear it so I'm gonna repeat it but again this is like a practical example of why making that setting that intention and making that additional time to work on your wardrobe makes all of the difference right so so the last I guess time investment you can make would be while you're working on building that catalog one simple thing you can do that actually takes the least amount of time is before you walk out that door taking a moment to observe your full look this is one of the reasons why you need a full length mirror and just looking at yourself for some women can be triggering you know because you may be working on your self-love journey but having a full length mirror allows you to look at your outfit as a whole right and then you can make those few tweaks like you know taking the moment to stack a couple of necklaces adding a ring maybe adding an extra bangle or even even doing simple things like pushing up your sleeves like literally it's so simple putting on a belt that one minute that you take to make these little tweaks to your outfit can make a hell of a difference in how you feel about how you look and how your outfit presents itself and how confident you are when you walk into a space now I may look down because I have my phones because I made a note of all the things I wanted to talk about and I didn't want to miss anything if you're enjoying this video so far and you've learned something you know it's got you thinking about your personal style and what you know the intentions you want to set you know in 2022 then sis hit that like button this is also a great time to share the video <laughs> right because I'm pretty sure you know somebody who needs this another thing I want to talk about and I guess that's where the other the alternate <laughs> name for this video comes about is really comparison right and the truth about how and why your influencers always look style to the nine right when they are playing top golf when they're at the grocery store when they're at the dentist when they are at a night out they always look top it's because it's their business to look top okay it is their business all right I can tell you trust me that these women are being very intentional about what they buy and how they showcase it right it's an investment for them now I'm adding this into this video because I really want us all to have a realistic view at what great style looks like and what it takes to be stylish no one looks like a 10 every second even your most stylish friends even the most stylish boss right no one looks like a 10 all the time they, nowadays we got tools okay to create that look but honestly honey it is not always a 10 and I want you to think about that when you're thinking about your personal style and creating you know something that is perfect for you now after I said all these things my question for you is do you really want to be that girl you know 24 hours a day seven days a week but hopefully the tips that I share at the beginning of this video will at least help you on the path to feeling more stylish and more confident and I'm gonna leave <laughs> I'm gonna leave the video by saying that if you want to be more stylish if you want this to be your most stylish year yet if you want to feel more confident when you walk into a room if you want to learn to put together looks that showcase you in the best light then you have to make that intention to spend the time in creating that right 
know that a lot of these influencers that you see online invest thousands of dollars into creating, you know, wardrobe systems and organization systems, right? That's why you always see the wardrobes with the, you know, the lights, the Birkins on show, the boots looking perfect. They actually invest time and money into it. And thanks to Ikea, we can too, but you know what I'm trying to say? They invest time and money. Sometimes they hire people that help them with organization. Even some of them hire stylists, right? So it's actually someone's job. So they are investing, if not time, they are investing money into creating this look. Now, if you are truly serious about investing, whether it's time or it's money, then make sure you click open the description box because I may have the solution for you. All right, so I really want you to take the time to think about all of this, right? And lastly, on the note of consumerism, if you haven't seen my, I think, I don't remember what I named the video, it went something like things I no longer buy. I talked a little bit about this, but let me set the scenario for you, right? I don't know if you remember the old school Coke commercials. I believe they were aired in the United States as well, but you would see somebody who would drink a bottle of Coke and make the ah, sound, right? Like it's so refreshing, right? You know, when you come in the house after a hot summer's day and you take that ice cold bottle of Coke and it's so refreshing, you know that feeling? It's priceless, okay? But imagine if you drink five, six, seven, or eight bottles of Coke. You never get that same feeling again. It is the law of diminishing returns in economics. And now how does that apply to what I'm talking about, right? There is this culture of consumerism that is taking over. We're all comparing our our lives to people that we see online. Oh, they got the newest bag, the newest shoe, the newest this, the newest that. Let me tell you that there is definitely a different feeling when you've worked hard, you saved up money, and you bought a piece that you loved versus when you buy it every week. It just does not have that same sentiment or feeling. It reminds me of someone whose dad wore their Rolex for their entire life and then when they graduate from college, they're like, here, take my Rolex, right? It has, it means so much, right? Because you know your dad has had this watch for their entire life, right? And they give, they felt you were worthy enough to give it to you, right? Versus if the dad had like 50 Rolex and they gave them a Rolex. Yeah, they got a Rolex, but it's not the same. I just want you to think about that when you're comparing your life to others and know Know that what is great style for you might be different for what is great style for her or her or her. It regardless of where you fit in the spectrum, influencer or just a regular girl next door, style is attainable in every size, okay? And your worth does not depend on the size or the price tag on what you are wearing. All right, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. When I am not on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram where I share daily-ish fashion and style inspo. If you come on over, say hi, slide on my DMs. Okay, so I can welcome you to the family. If there's something I have on in this video or I featured in this video that you're interested in, okay, make sure to see the description box and click the shop my looks link. And while you're there, download the LTK app. Literally, I link 99.9% .9 of everything I wear and feature on that app. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Wait, 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 don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be in the comments below. Let's continue this conversation.